Good morning, Wednesday, and guess what? Today is um, the 26th of October. Guess what I did? I peeked. I turned the page <laughs> of my Sarah Young book, and I went to the next day. Ah! <laughs> but guess what? I had the authority and the ability to do that, and I did it, you know, because that's what I wanted to do. But guess what I found? And so uh, I'm going to read this to you. This is from the Sarah Young, but it's the word of God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1-1. And then Psalm 32, 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. And then the last verse is, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Isaiah 51, 11. And here's what God says. I, the creator of the universe, am the most creative being imaginable. I will not leave you circling in deeply rutted paths. Instead, I will lead you along fresh trails of adventure, revealing to you things you did not know. Stay in communication with me. Follow my, my guiding presence. So keep on. Don't give up, y'all. Keep on keeping on. You know, keep keep looking Keep get, uh, reading, keep going, you know, keep searching, keep seeking. Don't give up. God wants to show you so much more. There's so much more in your future, but <clears throat> it's for today too. And so even though this says tomorrow, I say, you know, your blessing is today. <laughs> I love you guys and Jesus loves you so much more. And I'm going to finish with, um, this book that my daughter gave me and the very uh, front of it says, for I know the plans I have for you. You guys know what I'm going to say, don't you? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. And this um, reminds me of something that uh, I was talking to someone about just yesterday. And she was going through a struggle. And when I go through struggles, I just tell myself this too shall pass. Because I see Jesus. And I see Jesus on the cross. And I see what he did for us. I see what God the Father did for us. And he did that so that we will have a future. He did that out of love. He did that because in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And he says, I will guide you continually. Satisfy your soul in drought. Strengthen your bones. You should be like a watered garden. Like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. He's a loving God. He wants you to learn so much more. And don't feel bad if you don't understand so many things. And you're going to keep searching. He's okay with that. He knows you're going to fall. He knows you're going to make mistakes. But he's already there for you. He's always there for you. Because he loves you. And I love you. Jesus loves you so much more. See you later. Bye.